What'd you do? Turn the camera on? Watch me struggle? Who needs gas-powered rototillers when you got a determined wife and a twisty roundy thingy? Oh, well, that hole. Oh no, I'm good with one of these. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Well, survived the eclipse, apocalypse, whatever they wanted to call that thing. Jenna made it. What are we doing today, Jenna? Whatever you told me to do. Oh, good answer. Except for it's whatever mom tells you to do. That's how I do it every day. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. I'm gonna do whatever mom tells me to do and then I'm gonna try and binge read a book. You just binge read a book. I know, but I gotta read the second book. I'm glad I don't have her She's book the budget. only one I know that's like, hey, I wanna ride to town with y'all, I wanna go. And then the whole ride to town, when we walk through the stores, everything, all she's doing is reading while she's walking. I'm like, why do you even go to town? I instilled a love of reading in all my children. Sorry. Not so, sorry. Not we, sorry at all. we went to town and we might have did something. We had to. We had to. That's... It happened again. But not nearly as bad as last year. I think this will do us. And for the cost, we couldn't have spent groceries. And so, yeah, it's an investment in our food. Yeah, so kind of like last year, and Mom will take you through a little bit of that. And, you know, she's got a whole system of mixing this up for the uh lick tubs because as y'all know if you hadn't watched last year but this time we filled the lick tubs with leaves sticks twigs and then it all settled but it all settles over time so we need to re-amend we've robbed from some of the tubs and so time to re-amend that and we'll see how far that goes and we got a couple other projects too but i don't know if we're getting to those or not i've got stuff prepped too but we're gonna see how this goes yeah maybe we'll teach jenna how to drive the tractor Oh, I don't know if you guys want, want me to drive the tractor. Okay, with your driving history. Probably not, but it might be worth a shot. It's not happening, folks. Just, we'll let them believe, but no, not happening. So we're going to be dumping, um, what did I say? Five? Five bags. Five bags of topsoil into the bucket, one bag of cow manure, and a third of the peat moss. And that'll give me my good base, and then I will amend with the rabbit poo, some blood meal, some Epsom salts, and of course, y'all, I ain't organic. I use miracle Grow. Not sorry, it works. So uh, that'll be a maintenance thing. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get it dumped. Okay, so we're gonna try to beat those storm clouds over there. And I just got done mixing up a batch of sourdough dough. So sourdough dough for bagels. All right. Rip it open. It works better if you drag it. I was trying.
What do you do? Turn the camera on? Watch me struggle? Who needs gas-powered rototillers when you got a determined wife and a twisty roundy thingy? Oh, that hole. Oh no, I'm good with one of these. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Turning dirt. So the nice part, so this bed, and it looks a little browner, right? Because we added um, the peat moss to it already. This one behind her is just topsoil. And then I'm about to dump the peat moss in that one. But this one also had, if you guys seen in the video, I don't know if it made the cut or not, but. Yeah, we, it did. We took one of but the. We didn't say what it was. They uh, saw you digging it out, but they didn't. So one of our, our brick raised bed deals that we were trying to go melons out of last year and it the soil wise it did great i think one we planted them too late and two it just it was with our own dirt with a little mix of other stuff but it turned into good soil so i added it in here with well, all the rabbit poo it, yeah well they we had the rabbit right we took the, the rabbits, rabbits and great. put them on top so it had the rabbits on it for a while this thing is full of earthworms and yeah it's it's good soil. So these two beds right here, both beds, right, are going to be corn? That's fine. That's what she says. So I'm going to dump some peat moss on. and It was yeah. only, what, 50 bags of topsoil this time? It's not enough. Oh, no. But, oh. It's a good workout, folks. But... I just wanted to get everything. It's going to be harder to do this one, I think, because it's got the wire mesh on the bottom. That's a big rock. I need my pepper plateau tomorrow. He's gonna get some peppers after I use my fancy dancy tiller. <laughs> but I got a potty. Potty first, so I'll bring you back when we decide what our next step is gonna be. Oh, that's a good one if that's a keeper or not. Hey, that knife has been one of my most valuable greenhouse tools. It's just a broken steak knife, and it's approximately eight and a half inches long, which is the spacing I needed for my corn. Work with what you got, folks. You don't no, need no fancy tools. Okay, maybe a few fancy tools like a little rototiller, but you know. But it's getting to be that evening time, guys, and we're well, just... for you, I'm going to stay planting until it gets dark. Yeah. We got evening chores done. Uh, not everything, as usual, that we planned on getting done today is done. No, but we got a lot done. We did. That was a lot more topsoil. We still don't have quite enough, but it's enough to get the things that are super important right now in the dirt. Mm-hmm. And, and tomorrow you need to work on my water irrigation. Yeah, uh, hopefully, I don't know, they're calling for rain, so it won't. So I'm, I'll am i be happy with that. But tomorrow will be water irrigation day and getting mm -hmm. that set up, timers I'll be running. I'll more, but right. it's just so awesome to see the garden come alive again. It's just, and that mammoth zucchini, I'm already ready for blooms. It's out, we're going to probably have zucchini by the time we get back. I'm not upset about that. I'm not mad at it either. Peas so. are doing a great job. I just planted, I don't know, 10 more peas in the greenhouse down the one side because we'll be pulling the plastic off and I'll be trellising them up. And then I want the rest of the row to be green beans. And then there's plenty of room in those. I may see what I can companion plant inside of there that's not going to vine. I'm a little hungry. Got a little dizzy. Okay. Yeah, not surprised. So, all right, guys. Yeah, that'll probably be it for this one. I mean, probably. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't get a video out to y'all today, but you know, homestead first. Well, good morning. Boy, this weather. Let me tell you, 
we got them storms come in and now everything's muddy again but we're still on our mad dash y'all we we are scheduled to leave tomorrow morning to make our tennessee trip and in prep you guys have been following along no we've been on a mad dash for this stuff right so we've got a lot quite a bit planted uh, there's a lot of i think there's yeah looks like one whole row of tomatoes still needs to be planted yet um and we're gonna get to that but now that we have plants out here and to save jenna from hours of having to come out and water and making sure just worrying about it we're gonna go ahead and get the irrigation system set up all right let's start with the easy part and get this down So we bought this other bucket it's got a whole kit of but there's 250 foot of line okay so these two rows of tomatoes are done i'm gonna go ahead and hook it up to see i know i need to adjust sprayers i guess i can place those other ones in a minute this one row isn't planted yet so ah, maybe i'll hold off on testing it i don't know that was a little more complicated than I expected. Uh, we had enough. I've got two two runs for both of the... Um, there's stuff here in the greenhouse. There's still stuff outside that will have to be done by hand. But all of the zucchini and all of the tomatoes outside are all on irrigation. The only thing are some beans and peas out there. And the corn. And then in here is all going to have to get done by hand uh, until... Until we get back, I mean, we're just, we're running out of time, guys, and we still have a whole bunch of other stuff to get done before we can leave, and yeah, not enough hours in the day, not enough of us. Mama's been in and out, because she's trying to get video set up, and we still need to build a feeder for the meat bird chicks, so I'm going to see where she's at, because she's got the plan in her head. I think I know how to do it, but... I don't want to mess up the design because we've only got one set of pipe and fittings and all that. So, all right, well, we'll bring you back when we're on the next step of chaos. Hey guys, we are struggling to get everything done before we leave out tomorrow morning um, on our road trip to Tennessee. And one of the things I wanted to do because a little Veroptoraptor meat birds just attack you when you go in. And up north, I uh, made my own PVC feeder so that I could access the meat birds without them to feed them without them coming at me. So that's kind of what I'm working on here. I bought a, a cap and then a screw cap so that when we feed, we can just close it back up and it doesn't get wet inside.
Well, hello guys. We're at some Walmart right over the state line in Tennessee. And we're pulled off because the Nuggets got a flat. <laughs> so let's go check it out. What's your game plan, my love? I'm gonna get some blocks and I'm gonna back this back tire up on the block so this is jacked up. And, well, we're at the Walmarts, so you can just grab a cart and go take this one and get it changed and put it back on. I have a spare, but I think I'll go. Oh, guys. We, we should just assume that, and I kid you not, as we're pulling out today, I was gonna ask him if he had the spare uh, for the camper. And I thought, no, I'm not gonna say it because I'm not gonna jinx myself. Well. Which I always have because it, it is, it's strapped to the back. Oh, that's right. So the, here's the other fun part though. And that's where I'm thinking that I wanna just pull this one off and go get a new tire put on it. Okay. Because our license plate is zip tied to <laughs> this, which the spare on the back looks brand new. So it's probably really good. And I probably should put a cover and then mount the license plate the way it's supposed to be. But, well, it takes all the fun out. So we do have a spare. Well, it looks like a brand new tire, baby. Oh. Why not just use it? And well, because if we're here at a tire center, right? Because if I use this spare, there's three other May Pops on this thing. And if we get stuck on this problem again, I'm hoping not, but I'm gonna look at the other tires real close. But if we get stuck in the same situation and my spare is shredded in the back, what good does that do me on the side of the road? Okay, so fair enough. Fair if enough. I have the convenience of getting another tire right now, yeah, it takes us a little bit of time, but it makes more sense down the road. Right. So, okay, that, that does make more sense. Um, yeah. So we're gonna hang out here. Guess at least I got a potty, right? All right.
find us a tire. Oh, that was a no bueno. They didn't have just the tire. They had a tire and rim and it was gonna be like almost $200. So we're taking our chances until we find another Walmart or a tire place to uh, get a, another spare. Cause we don't want to go too far without a spare. So now onward we move. So we made it to a rest stop. You know that thing I always say about there's a reason for everything and just be grateful and thankful when something like that minor happens, you know? So where we blew a tire was a fairly non-busy road, right? Uh, we just came through some of the worst roads that we have experienced ever on our travels. And so much so that we had to stop because it was so rough, it popped the topper's uh, lid open, whatever, or door or whatever, and it popped open one of the side cargo bays on the camper. An extremely busy, busy, busy traffic outside of Nashville. So. Yeah, we haven't quite hit Nashville yet, but we're yeah. coming up. Yeah, so it could have been there. You know, like if we wouldn't right. have blown where we did and we got into this area, it would have been way more worse. There again, we were right at a exit that had what we needed to, to get it fixed. So it's all those little things, folks. Right, babies? Yeah, what she said. We'll go inspect the... I gotta inspect. <laughs> Boy, I tell y'all, this wind, has been crazy today. So this little top will get. Okay, she's latched this time. And then just this little doohickey. Tires holding up good? Let's see. Yep. Yep. That one's latched. Even the license plate stayed. Look. Oh, I wonder what it looks like inside the camper after all that. Uh, it's not too bad. Can y'all see in there? Look in there. Okay, not terrible. I mean, the typical things that have popped around, but what do you think? Huh? Don't kick it so hard. Well, I think it's time for a potty break. Because, yeah, it's that time for a potty break. That was some rough. Yeah. Talk about some nerves. I had some nerves. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and walk up there. That'll give us a little stretch because yeah. I was already hearing on the radio traffic's slow in Nashville. So, all right, we'll pick you up in a little bit. Hi, guys. You're in my bubble. Get over here. You want me in your bubble. <laughs> no. <laughs> but we're just glad to be here. We wanted to bop in. I'm not sure when this video is going to come out. Uh, but we're here. We made it. And I'm there again. Blessed to have an amazing husband that got us here. All right. All peace right. out. See you guys. Not from the ridge. <laughs>